Hello, this is Orient Today, and my name is Doug Reach. And today we're going to talk about origami. As you see on the table here, I have quite a few animals and frogs. Um, we have a dragon, and uh, this is a creation I've made. Uh, I used a calendar paper, large paper, to make the larger animals, but most of the animals here are, are from your normal copy paper. And what you do with the copy paper is you just fold it into a triangle and then you cut right along where the edge is. And this way you can make a square piece of paper that you can use to fold the crane, which we're going to show you how to in a later segment. But I started folding when I found a book on origami back uh, when I was in uh, junior high school. And ever since, I've enjoyed this, and other people have enjoyed it too. Um, we have a dragon, which is actually made out of two pieces of paper. So this is a variation of origami. Uh, we have a African beater. We have a, a, a dragon, the frogs. And as you can see, the different colors really make it interesting. These are crabs, um, an octopus. We have gorillas, Trionosaurus Trian rexes, and uh, we have lizards. And so as you can see, there's, there's quite a collection. And, and these are the cranes which we're going to try, uh, show you how to do today. And this is just made with regular copy paper and uh, it'll work out quite well. Um, remember, while you're folding, that when you make a fold, use your fingernail and try to make a nice, clean, crisp crease. And then when you make another fold, make sure you spend a little time trying to line up the edges so that the edges are really close together. Like, but like I was saying, back in uh, junior high school, I learned to fold the frogs. And I quickly found out that the girls really liked the frogs. And so uh, it, was a, it was a nice way to get to know the girls. Again, paper folding is a lot of fun. Just be patient and take your time making the folds. If you get in a hurry and you mess up, you can always get a clean sheet of paper and start over again. So, as we fold the origami paper, again, I want to stress that you make sure you use your fingernails to make nice crisp folds and that you try to line it up. Now, what we're going to do is, as we're starting, we're going to do what we call the basic fold. It's a, we get to a certain point and from there, various animals can be made from it. So now that you've got your diagonal folds, you turn the paper so it kind of points up. You notice how the paper points up and now you're going to fold half like this. Again, make sure you try to line up the lines and use your fingernails to make the creases really crisp. And then you're going to fold it in half again. Make sure you spend a little time to get the edges lined up right and then use your fingernails to make nice crisp folds. Now if, when you pick it up like this and you kind of push down, now you have the basic fold. It's a smaller square, but you'll notice it has four flaps. So now that you've gotten to this point, uh, the folds start to get more difficult. So if you have to, you can watch the video over again to see what I'm doing. Now, I call this an airplane fold. We're, we're folding to the point, and this is the closed point. We're just going to uh, make sure I messed that one up. I'm sorry. 
Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to fold to the open point like this. And so you can see that. And then the other fold, we're going to fold to point. And so now it looks something like a kite. You got the, use your fingernail again to make the folds crisp. Now you're gonna open it up and you see the two folds here? You're gonna lift it up. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna push this part in like this. And the bottom part will fold in and the top part will fold the other way from where you made this fold. Again, you're going to take the corner and you're just going to put, lift it up, push it in, and you'll see that this part folds and this part, you just refold it. And so now it looks like this. Turn it over, and now we're going to do the same thing again. You're going to make an airplane fold to the flaps that open up. Make sure you uh, line up your edges right. Use your nail to make a crisp fold because it helps when you uh, do these uh, other folds. Again, you pull the flap up, you push the point, the corner in, and it folds right in. Push the corner in, and it folds right in. Now you have a diamond shape. These two, as you can see in the crane, will become the wings. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to open the, like this, and you're going to take it and you're gonna fold it on both sides. You're gonna fold it like this. So it's gonna look like uh, ears almost. And now, you're going to do another fold. And all you're going to do is you're going to line it up to the center crease like an airplane fold. Make sure you use your fingernail to crease. Make a crisp fold crease. Now you're going to flip it over and do the other side. After you've folded a, new, uh, a number of the uh, cranes, you'll uh, remember how to do it without watching. All these animals on the table here, I can fold from memory because I've folded them so many times. Okay, and now you're going to take and uh, you're going to fold them like this, and the other side like this, and you're going to have this. And you'll know you got it right when you can see the wings in the center point there. Now this will probably be the hardest part, is folding the neck and the head and, and the tail. What you're going to do is kind of open it up and you're going to push the flap all the way in and then you're going to close it again. Then you're going to grab a hold of that part and all you're going to do is pull it out until it lines up with the edge and then you can crease it at the bottom. Open it up, flip it up, close it, and then just pull it out like this until it lines up with the outside edge and then you can crease the bottom and as you can see, we're almost there. Now for the head, you can make the head any size you want. Uh, you just kind of open it up, push it down, and you want it to push the crease down like this. And then you can do the 
the head. As you can see, I made it much longer than this one. And the tail, you do the same thing. You just kind of push it out like that. Fold the wings out a little bit and you have a crane. And that is a crane. Now it might not look like this the first time you try to fold, but just remember practice makes perfect. And uh, with that, this is Orion today, and we'll see you in the next segment. Load up the family and head on out to Friendship Park for a good old time in Orion Township's barn days on Saturday, September 17th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Kick off the fall season with a hay wagon ride, pony rides, a petting zoo, carnival games, a bounce house, and more. That's barn days on Saturday, September 17th. The cost is $5 per car load. For more information, call 248-391-0304, extension 305, or visit orienttownship.org. Welcome back to Orient TV. I am Doug Reach. And today, I mean, right now, we're going to talk about the, uh, the book that I have, Origami Animals. And you can find most books at uh, your li uh, local library. You can uh, find them at uh, bookstores. Uh, there's another way is you can go on YouTube and uh, they'll show you how to fold the animals. But uh, the origami books are, are really neat because they show you all the different directions and how to make folds and understand what you're looking at when you fold the animals. And this is really neat. Um, and if there's something you don't understand, uh, you can go on YouTube and people have actually uh, got you, uh, videos on how to make the more difficult folds. Uh, again, you can get origami books at any bookstore and you can usually find them at your local library. Right now we're going to make a box and uh, this is very popular In uh, I remember in school that uh, people were showing me how to make a box and uh, you start out with the same basic fold like we did before. You can fold your copy paper and you can cut it along the edge and make a square and then you're gonna, you'll have the one fold. And you're gonna make the next fold. Make sure you spend time lining up your edges and making a good crease. At work, I would have to go to other uh, companies for meetings and to stay awake I would fold my uh, origami and they had the little square pieces of paper there and after I was done the meeting was done I would take whatever animals I had folded and I would drop them off at the secretary's desk and uh, they just loved them. They, uh, so I would get shopping lists every once in a while because they wanted some more animals. So this can be a lot of fun. People really enjoy the animals and uh, they, it's, it's really cool. So now remember how we made the basic fold like this? Okay, we're going to reverse it. What you're gonna do is open it up and you're gonna turn it the other way so it ends up looking like a big triangle like this. And what's really uh, nice is this is uh, really something simple and fun to do. Okay, so you're just gonna take each flap and you're gonna fold it up like this.
I hope you're enjoying this. I, I enjoy folding. I enjoy going to weddings or receptions and places and sitting down and start to fold. I'll take my paper with me. And, and people, you know, it gives you something to do and people really enjoy it. And I'll usually give them away as presents and stuff and uh, it just really uh, cuts the boredom. Okay, I hope I'm not going too fast for you. Again, what we're doing is you're, you're like this and you're folding two sides up and the other two sides up like this, okay? Now, um, you take the side points, okay? You can see that we have, this is the line from the folded paper. You're gonna fold it in like this. You're gonna fold the other side in like this. Again, take the time to make nice, crisp edges with your nail. Okay, and then find the ones where there's the little flaps like this. And you're just gonna fold it back along this edge here. And then you're just going to fold it back like this. Okay, again, you're going to take it if you try to do the other side, it won't work. You gotta do the side that has this little flap. You're gonna fold it like this, and then you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it back like this. You're gonna take it, the other side, same thing, fold it the other way, and then you're going to fold it back. All right, now, you're gonna tuck these pieces of paper into this flap. So you're gonna open it up a little bit with your finger, just kinda, and you're gonna take this flap and you're just gonna push it in. And it should just kinda slide right in and stay. Slide it in and just kind of press it down, it'll stay. And then you're going to turn it over and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to fold it both ends in to the center. Always remember to use your fingernail to make the folds nice and crisp because then they'll stay. They won't, you'll realize that if you didn't make the folds well enough, the animals will undo themselves and open up. Tuck it into the little flap again. Now, you, you're gonna ask me, how can this be a box? This is the fun part for the kids. If the paper is too stiff, it takes a lot to blow it up, but you can see where it's kind of like a, you know, okay? So, now on the one end, there's a little opening. And just like a balloon, you have to blow it up. And just like a balloon, in the beginning, it's kind of hard to get it to blow up. Like I said. And as you blow it up, if you push it into your face, it'll uh, fill up really nice. And then all you need to do is kind of make the creases for the edge of the square, like this. And if it gets kind of folded over itself, just kind of pull it apart like this here. Just pull. And as you fold more and more of them, they'll get easier and easier. And, and now you have a, a box. And it's kind of neat because uh, it was a square piece of paper. And all these animals are made out of a, a square piece of paper. There's no cutting, there's no glue. 
This is all just folded paper. I have personally signed each animal with my name. I haven't seen too many people who can fold even the cranes. So if I ever run across one of my creations again, um, I'll know it if it's got my name on it. So I, I, I think it's really neat to be able to sign your masterpieces, if you want to call them that. That way you can uh, know you know, if you were the one who folded it. And with that, this is Orient Today, and uh, see you next segment. Hello Lake Orient, it's Anthony Terramina, co-host of Between Terraminas. I want to let you know of a new show called History Now. In it, we're going to talk about global, national, and political events that occur in our lifetime. We're going to also have guests and also have co-hosts as well, and also plenty of surprises. Catch us on History Now here on ONTV. This is Orion Today, and I'm Doug Reach, and we're going to make paper airplanes. Now, paper airplanes have been around for a long time, and uh, most of the books that you can get on paper airplanes actually have uh, the paper with all the markings so you can fold up the airplane and it'll look like a jet or whatever. And uh, those are really nice because it's, it has all the folds, shows you where to fold them and everything like that. But I'm going to show you a paper airplane that uh, when I was in fifth grade, uh, I, an exchange student from Korea taught me how to make a, a, a paper airplane from Korea. And I've always liked this, this design because it flew pretty, uh, it flew very well all the time. So uh, we're gonna start with a piece of copy paper. We're not gonna cut this, we're just going to fold it like it is. And you're just gonna fold it in half. standard uh, paper airplane fold, fold to the center. And uh, this is where it gets a little different. We're going to take it and you're going to fold, fold it back again. Line it up with the edge of the fold, uh, paper from uh, the last fold so it looks like this. And this is to put more weight into the front end of the airplane to help it fly better. You're going to turn it over and you're going to fold it again. Make sure you uh, crease the paper. Line up the lines. Now, a lot of times in folding, you get to where you have so many folds, you have to leave a space, a little bit of space in the center. If you put the paper close together, the, the, it won't fold right. It gets all bunched up. So what you want to do is leave a little space in between on, on the other fold, on, the, on this fold, to give it a little more room to fold with. Okay? And then you're going to Pull this flaps out on the back side. And then you're going to turn it over again and you're going to fold these in. Again, this is to put more weight in the nose of the airplane so the airplane is balanced right. Okay, so the bottom half is just going to have this one edge here and we're going to have everything folded on the inside. Okay. So now, when we fold it in half like this, the paper isn't bunched up in here, 
so it folds really nice. Now this is where you have to pay more attention. What you want to do is you want to fold it down like this so and you try to line up the edges so that you get this edge nice and straight. So this fold here so the wings is folded like like this. And then you can fold the other one, line it up with your other wing. So if you, even if you're off a little bit doing it this way, it'll make sure that it's aerodynamic. Whenever I fold paper airplanes for the little kids, I, I think they have the most fun with them. Something about paper airplanes. And if you're always worried about somebody getting poked in the eye, the nice thing I like about this is that we're going to take the point and we're going to make it flat. So these little flaps here, you just kind of stand those straight up. And so now it kind of looks like an airplane. So this here, we're going to open it up and you're going to take the point and you're going to fold it back like this. Okay. And then you're going that now you're going to fold it. And, and you don't want to make this crease here until you get it closed all the way. And then when you fold it this way, it'll hold the shape of the airplane. Now you have a flat end. You don't have to worry about eyes getting poked or anybody getting hurt. And now we have a, a, a finished airplane. So um, your other typical airplanes that you've seen before are much longer. This one has more weight in the nose and it's more balanced for flying. Now remember, when you're folding an airplane, if you mess up, just keep trying um, till you get it. And that's the paper airplane. Thank you for being with us today. I hope you have enjoyed my uh, paper folding and my animals. And just keep practicing. It gets easier and easier. And for Orion today, this is Doug Reach. <laughs>